of the early fundraisers, and I was very, <laughs> and I was very impressed with, uh, with the professionalism and capability. But over the years, they just represent to me, I think you commented once to Charmaine, I said, this is a couple that is a treasure as a friend. And as I grow older, and hopefully wiser, I realize that there are a few things in life more valuable than the treasure of friendship. And it is so, I am so happy that you decided to move to San Diego and not move to Akron, Ohio. <laughs> <laughs> because we'll, 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 we'll be keeping close together, but you guys will always be in our memory. Thank you so much. Yay. They said the Friedman are going, but they are not. They will stay in our hearts, they will stay in our thoughts, they will always stay with us. Not only for what they have done at uh, Jewish Community School, but because they are just great people. Yes. You know, to our friends, to our loves, to my brother. We, we, are, we are brothers, by the way. <laughs> Different mother, but that's a rumor. That's a rumor. You will always be with us. coming and we um, if it wasn't for the school we wouldn't have made these fantastic and wonderful friends and all of you are very special to us and um, we want to thank you for everything you're welcome whenever you're in San Diego to please call us you're a part of our family you're welcome we'd like love to see you we still have a house here, so we're probably going to come every other weekend. Um, you see us, you're going to say, oi, we're here again. But um, we're not leaving, we're still here, and um, uh, school is still very much a part of us, and we're going to fight for the school, and God willing, the school will still be around. We're not going to be Thank you. We love you. Thank you. I love all of you too. Thank Your you cooking will be good. Everyone, in honor of Laura and Daniel Friedman, we have the, the beautiful Julie Rosser and the very handsome Paul McKee, another very handsome Paul Cracciola. Cracciolo. Here, sorry. And um, so uh, we want to welcome them to start their show. Thank you so much. Oh, there's nothing. 
I was the very first music director at the Dick Clark Company, and no, I am not that old, he just never had one for a really long time, okay? But I was very honored uh, while I was there as the director of the music department, I got to work with Barry on the movie of the week, uh, Copacabana. Now, one thing, uh, I'm gonna do the verses, if y'all wanna jump in and sing the chorus, please join me, okay? I expect it. Her name was Lola, she was a showgirl With yellow feathers in her hair And a dress cut down to there She would merengue and do the cha-cha And while she tried to be a star Tony always tended bar across the crowded floor They worked from eight to four They were young and they had each other Who could ask for more? And the Copa, Copa Cabana The hottest spot north of Havana He was escorted to his chair He saw Lola dancing there And while she finished He called her over But Rico went a bit too far Tony sailed across the bar And then the punches flew Chairs were smashed in two There was blood in a single gunshot But just who shot who At the Copa Copa Cabana The hottest spot north of Havana At the Copa But that was 30 years ago when they used to have a show. Now it's a disco, but not for Lola. Still in the dress she used to wear, faded feathers in her hair. She sits there so refined, drinks herself and wine. She lost her youth and she lost her Tony. Now she's lost her mind at the Copa, Copa Cabana, the hottest by no. 